know here we will make this robot octopus this is a underwater robot it moves like an octopus it has eight legs like this to make it you need an aluminium plate make two holes to fit this motor which i got from a cd player screw it tightly with the plate now put enough glue in all the holes and at the back side and make it try to make a waterproof motor now you have to collect these two small gears which i got from the old toy first fit the small gear with the motor make sure it is very tightly fitted then put the big gear find the center mark it make a drill and put a refill to make the shaft put the gear back there and on top put a small pipe so that the gear doesn't come out now you need two plastics make two circle dimensions are given cut it then divide it into eight equal sections each section will be 45 degree in angle now along one line cut around 7 mm using a hacksaw and then make it smooth with a file like this the dimensions are given in the screen now we take a small plastic and draw a hole and a slot there cut it with a knife or a drill machine you have to make such eight pieces now take the bigger circle glue a refill at the center make sure it is 90 degree the big circle you need some thick wire so cut it a centimeter long thick wire from a safety pin use that as a set pass it through the long plastic we cut for leg and glue it as i'm showing on the video with each leg like that you glue all the eight legs now once done you have to make a ring from a wire from a safety pin like this take the ring pass through the slot of all the legs and then put back the small wheel Place it like this and glue each and every point, both sides of the legs. Now you take a small pipe of one centimeter long and glue that with a smaller circle. If you push the pipe, the legs will move like this. Take a wire and glue it to the central refill shaft. Bend the front 90 degree. Like this. Now take the big gear out from the center around half centimeter away make a drill and pass a pin glue it and fit a small piece of refill pipe and put the gear back on the aluminium plate cut the extra length of the refill. At the end, make a drill and glue the eight legs there. Now cut an aluminium sheet which has a one centimeter long slot. Glue that. This aluminium shaft should be connected with the main big gear using a crankshaft. So I cut another aluminium and connect it this way. Now if you power up, you can see it is moving like this. Put all the junctions some thin oil. Now you need to have some plastic sheets. Cut it like that. You have to total make eight legs and glue that with each small legs like this. I have glued two small thermocol pieces to have a test run. This thermocol will help the octopus to float. Now if you power up, in an aquarium water see it's moving forward now take a cap glue the head of the octopus inside it connect a rechargeable 3.7 volt battery and a switch in series now to make it waterproof pack it inside a plastic packet and tie it with rubber bands 
Now glue it at the center. Once done, you can now add some thermocol pieces all around like this to increase the buoyancy so that it can float inside the water. Color with a uh, fabric color. Once color is done and it is dried, let's try it in the aquarium. So press the switch, make it on and put it under the water. See, it's flapping all the eight legs and moving forward. It's following an octopus swimming concept. Isn't it cool? I hope you like it. You try to make your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.